In this snapshot, we take a look at the interior of John Knox House, the oldest property on the Royal Mile. Now, although the house is named after John Knox himself, it is unlikely that he ever lived here. On the contrary, James Mossman, goldsmith and jeweller too, and ardent supporter of Mary Queen of Scots, was the owner and inhabitant of the property. From here, he would have worked at his work table, creating pieces for his sovereign, all the while able to look out of the window up the Royal Mile, although it would have looked much more different in his day. Above one of the original fireplaces are enlarged examples of coins that would have been minted with the heads of monarchs at the time. It was this that was to lead to Mossman's execution as he carried on minting coins with Mary's head on them despite her no longer being queen. But really, it's the interior of the building with its original exposed beams and restored paintings that bring it to life. On one final note, in a small cubicle off to the side are the words of Mary Queen of Scots shortly before she was executed. Into thy hands, O God, I commend my soul. John Knox, on the other hand, must have felt he'd had a pretty tough life, because his words were, and so I end, rendering my troubled and sorrowful spirit in the hands of the eternal God, earnestly trusting at his good pleasure to be freed from the cares of this miserable life and to rest with Christ Jesus, my only hope and life.